What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Potbelly from My Singing Monsters. Let's begin today's lesson on the top right side of our page with the mouth. We're we'll gonna start with a curve. Start from the top left, bend this down, and then back up. Now you wanna round out the top of the mouth on both sides, coming down on the left, and then the right. Now on the left side, we're just gonna bend this around, come down towards the bottom of the mouth, and just pull that up on the right side. Now I'm gonna close off the right side with a curve, bending this in, go out, and then rounding out the bottom. Now we're gonna trace the top edge of the mouth along the bottom. So I'm gonna curve this down, and then bend that up. Let's go back up to the left side. We're just gonna follow this curve. It's gonna round at the top, come down, and then across towards the right side. Now we're gonna tuck the top right side underneath the lip, so we're gonna step back in, come down and out, and then just round out the bottom. Now we're gonna add a row of four teeth along the top. Let's start on the left side and draw a half oval. We're gonna come down and then up. I'm just gonna leave a small gap and just work our way over towards the right side. Let's add the bottom row of teeth. In the center, I'm gonna draw a full oval, just leaving a gap just up above the lip. On the side, let's add another one. And then we'll add two smaller ones on the end. Let's place the gum line in between the teeth with a straight line, just going across. And then on the left side, it's gonna bend this down towards the mouth. Now with the mouth in place, let's taper the neck in towards the first ring. So we're gonna start on the top right. We're gonna bend the neck, going up and then over towards the back. Let's round this out, coming down and then in. Now I'm gonna go wider as we come back in and then down in behind the mouth. Let's wrap a large ring around the neck. We're gonna start from the top, step over towards the right. We're gonna draw an oval, going all the way around the outside come down and then back up underneath the neck. Now I want to continue the top curve of the neck on the left side of that ring, going out and then down. I'm just going to bring that down towards the next ring. Let's do the same thing across the bottom. Follow this curve on the left side, then this out and then down. Let's close off the bottom with a curve and then we'll layer another ring in behind. So we're going to step up on the left, drawing that oval, going all the way around and then back in. Now from here, the neck's gonna get wider as it comes down towards the third ring. So we're gonna follow the left side underneath, come down and then across. Now on the right side, we're gonna go wider, come down and then out. Let's close off the bottom, come down and then up towards the right. Let's add a larger ring across the bottom. So we're gonna start on the left side. I'm just gonna draw a short curve going out and down. Now you want to add a socket with a half circle, coming in and then back out. Let's draw the bottom of the ring, coming across, up on the right, and just pull that in towards that point. Now we're going to draw the bottom of the belly. Let's start over on the left side underneath the ring, bend this down and out, round up the belly, and then bend that back in. Let's go all the way up towards the right side. We're going to bend this out, come down, and then in. And I want to close off the bottom of the body with a curve. Come across the middle and then back up. Now I want to place the pot in underneath the body. So we're going to draw an oval on the base, starting on the left, going around, across the middle, up on the right, and just tuck that in. On the sides of that oval, draw a straight angle line coming down. And then we'll close off the bottom with another curve. From the bottom corners of the pot, we'll step in, draw another straight angle line coming down towards the bottom of the pot. And now we're going to close off the bottom with a curve. Now let's go back and draw that same mouth flipped over on the left side, but we're going to go a little bit smaller. Let's start with the top curve, come down and then up round up the tops and just pull that down. On the left side, 
come down and bend that out toward the lower lip. Round at the bottom, go across, and just pull that up on the top right. Let's trace the mouth along the inside. I'm gonna add three teeth along the top. So we'll start on the left, those half ovals. And then we'll add four small ovals along the bottom, just leaving a gap above the lip. And we'll close off the gum line with a straight line. Now we're gonna place the neck in behind the lips and we're gonna taper this in towards that socket. Let's start with the top and go up. I'm just gonna bend this in about halfway. We're gonna add another ring along the side. Round this out, and pull that in. And just bend that down towards the side of the mouth. Let's place that ring along the side of the neck. Like an oval, going all the way around. And just tuck that up underneath. Now I'm gonna continue the top of the neck, coming in towards the top point of the socket. And then from the bottom, going out in behind the ring. Now we're gonna add three large leaves coming out from the neck. Let's start in this gap. Start with the spine. We're gonna go out, bend that up. Come down about halfway. We're just gonna taper this so the stem gets thicker as we come back in. Let's add another one along the top here. Going out, and then up, and then halfway. Just taper that down and then in. Let's add one coming out from the right side. Coming down and up towards the mouth, and just taper that in towards the side. Let's simplify the leaves. Let's start from the tip. We're going to come down, round at the bottom, and just pull that up towards the stem. Let's go back up to the top. I'm just going to bend this across, and then bend that back down, just lining up with that bottom line. Let's do the same thing across the top, starting with the left side around and then in and then going back up to the top just going to curve the top just pull that in towards the bottom now these leaves on the right side are going to be tucked in underneath the mouth so we'll start with the top line that up across the bottom let's add some texture across the outside of the leaves starting from the top left just going to draw a short angle line coming down and in and just work our way across towards the bottom and then do the same thing on the right side. Do the same thing on the top leaf. And add a couple on the right side. Now we're gonna add some spots across the neck. Let's start from the top. We're gonna add some half ovals on the edge of the head. And I'm just gonna vary the size Add some circles along the inside. Let's add some spots on the left side of the neck, starting from the top. Come down towards the bottom. Let's go across the top on the left. And work our way in. Now let's add some spots on the left side of the body. And we'll go a little bit larger across the bottom. I'm just going to come up underneath the body. Now in the center on the right side, we're going to draw a small oval for the belly button. Now we're going to finish this off by adding some cracks across the pot. Let's start from the top edge. Just going to go across. Just going to add some jagged lines coming down. Step in, just work our way across towards the bottom. I'm going to add some cracks on the right side.
and then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how you draw Potbelly from My Singing Monsters. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. We've got some exciting news to share with all of you. We're offering a variety of incredible options to level up your art skills. Join our exclusive masterclass memberships for just $1 a month or catch more free tutorials on our Excel sketch channel every week. Don't miss out on any of these amazing opportunities. So subscribe or join today.